Hello, welcome to the allotment. I said I was going to try and do some video blogs for you, so that's what I'm doing today. This is the first one, this is inside the shed, it's very windy outside, you might be able to hear. The shed was put up by Pennine Fencing. What I'm going to talk about today is I'll take you through, I'll take you outside when it's wind dies down a little bit. I'll take you outside, I'll show you what I've done to the beds, I'll show you the soil because it's coming really nicely. Uh, show you some of the stuff I've planted, the garlic's coming up. Uh, but while we're inside, I may as well show you what I've been doing in here. So, I'll show you my potatoes first. I've got three different varieties of potatoes. I've got first early, second early, and my main crop. So, my first early seed potatoes are the foremost. There, in the bag, being cute. They're really cheap, actually. They're on offer. They were two for six pounds. Um, my second early ones are the shallots, we all know them. And I've got quite a strange one for my, um, for my main crop seed potatoes. I got the desired. I hope that's how you say it. Desire, maybe. But well, they're a purpley potato. It's quite, quite nice. So what that down there. We'll save them for when they're ready to chip. Uh, I might, I'll just tell you now before before we go any further in the vlog, I might mention the scouts, uh, I might say the scouts are going to come up and do some planting or the cubs are going to come up. It's because I'm a scout leader and the allotment is actually going to help them and enable them to get the small holding badge. So if I go off on one and start coming out with all these acronyms and say scouts and AG, SL and all rubbish like that, just ignore me. Or humour me. I like people when they humour me. Uh, what we've got here... I think I told you yesterday on the blog, a kiwi fruit. Um, now I didn't really know a lot about a kiwi fruit, I only bought it because it was all in its own in being cute. It should have been £9.98, got it for £6. Uh, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Uh, it's a climbing, it, it needs to climb uh, to support support the long branches with the heavy fruits on. So I've got a, a place where I'm going to put that, I'll put that in a bit later on. Of course I've got the, uh, I've got the red red currants and the blackberries as well that I planted ages ago well about two weeks I don't know if you can see this, this is my little propagator down there I'm actually using a laptop to do the video in so it's not that easy uh, my propagator, I'm going to be my uh, seeds as you can see they're a little bit leggy so I'm going to be moving these now because they don't need the warm for the propagator anymore so I'm going to move them up onto the window shelf Get them some more sunlight in, get them healthy, get the stems, get the stems thickened out a little bit, hopefully. So we'll do that. Um, there we go, that's you see me. Um, I'll take you outside in a minute. Okay, I'll take you out now and show you the allotment because the wind's died down a little bit. So just watch me stay, watch the dog. <laughs> Right, as you can see, that's the uh, that's the shed. Yeah. As I say, I'm using a computer at the moment, so it's a bit hard. It's not a camera. So, no, I won't take you out to the picture. I'll take you over to where I planted the fruit, which is here. Hopefully, you can see that. There's the fruit bushes. Is that a fruit bushes. Now, I mentioned before that I'd bought kiwi. Sorry about that, I don't have a tissue. Uh, I mentioned before that I, about kiwi. So I'll take you up to where I put the kiwi. Now it needs to be quite sheltered. I don't know if it's sound because of the wind, but it is actually a quite sheltered place. And I pop the kiwi up next to a fence, something it can grow on. So here we go. So uh, that's where the kiwi is going. Now at the moment, just to get things started, potatoes. So let's show you the three beds. I've got one of them covered over at the moment, which uh, which you can just see there. Covered over. It's um, it's got some like Evira mesh stuff on it. Just to start warming it up, ready for when the potatoes go in. Um, this one, that's up next to, is bed two. Let's just show you the quality of the soil here. Really, really good. 
keeping on top of the weeds. I know it's December, but as soon as one comes up, the rugger gets it. Uh, head number one, this one's got the garlic in. Uh, they are popping up at the moment. But, sorry, I thought I heard someone. I've got the garlic in. I tilled over the bits so that doesn't have anything in. But I don't know if you'll be able to see the garlic. It's very small. There's garlic there, 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 there. And if you didn't hear what I just said, I said there's garlic there, 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 and there. And they're coming up very nicely. So, it's the entrance of the allotment to show you up. So you can see what it looks like from the entrance. There you go, there you go. Now the big trees behind me, I have been pruning them a little bit near the entrance but as you can see they are quite big so they might cause a problem I'm not too sure. A little fire pit there on the floor there behind me singing Anguli and all that rubbish. Uh, around the back of the shed I've got a rubbish um, rubbish dump put a few bricks up here as well. So, what's that? Now where the old shed used to be the guy did have a shed if you look back on my blog, uh, I don't think he ever took a picture of the shed, but it was ransacked. He managed to get it off to a different plot holder. That's the one the old scouts arrived. Uh, but oh, I'm going to go in. It's a bit windy. Uh, as I was saying, he managed to get it off to another plot holder, who happens to be one of our old scouts, Ryan. If you're watching, hello, Ryan. And it just left this space on the floor which was full of hay had a dead rabbit in it it were a bit minging but the guys who came and put the shed up because i'm not putting the shed up the guys who came and put the shed up did a really good job raked it out flattened it sand down uh, they put paving slabs down an area underneath the shed so the air can nice circulate and then they put the shed on top oh one thing i haven't shown you i did the little bed my mum says it looks like a grave but i don't think it looks like a grave and I'll show you, show you the little bit I've done. Got a few flowers in it. I'm not going to tell you what they are though. Secret. So there you go. Right, time for hot chocolate, I think. Right, I've come back inside because it's a bit chilly outside and very windy. It's nice and sunny though, so it keeps coming out. Uh, I'm going to sow some onions. Now, I know for the readers of my blog, I've already done some onions. I did them last month, and I know that service so of onions. But I'm going to sow some more. Uh, the onion, I've got Sutton seeds. And the onion that I'm going to sow is uh, Globo. And it says here the giant onion, so it should should be nice, really. Um, now, the things about onions, we need, well, the things about seeds, basically. We need... Propagator, propagator. So we've got propagator lid there. Um, you need some sieved compost. It's quite important. You don't want lumps in your compost. So I've got some sieved compost that I sieved before, and I've got to propagator with the small seed compartments. So I was saying I should really prepare, so I'm not having to go and grab things, but I'm sure I can edit that out. Right, seed compartments. I'm gonna fill these nicely. With my sieve compost right up nicely, and uh, then I'll come back and show you what else I'm doing. Okay, as you can see, I've filled my seed tray now, it's uh, nice little. Uh, what you have to keep doing when you fill your seed tray with your sieve compost is you've got to keep banging it down, get, it rid get rid of all the air pockets. You want, to be, you want it to be nice, nice and full, right? So with seeds and onions you don't really have to be a genius with them you see back and out and all I do is just sprinkle them now I find it works better if we open it out because they're fiddling little things If you make a little B, right. 
Now, I'm just doing my uh, onions, as I've just said, and I've seen a little visitor outside. Now, a lot of people have emailed me, they've accosted me, they've heckled me in the street because they don't believe there's a ghost chicken on this one. Well, let me tell you, he's outside and I'm going to show him to you. So, and he's cheeky. I'll tell you that now, he's a cheeky chap here. Sorry, I, I don't normally lock myself in the shed, it's just it's very windy. There he is. Hey. Lazy bell going for a little look. Right, let's go back. So, I was telling the truth, so now, nah, now. Nah. Well, that's the onions done now. I'll give you a little tour of the garden. I'd let you see my dog chase a chicken. The only other thing, I haven't... I've told you I've done it, I've not shown you. Um, is I've moved the seedlings now. Those seedlings onto the window shelf. Okay? And I've done that. Really, because they don't need the warmth from the propagator anymore, so I've got the onions in there now. Um, what they desperately need now is light. I've kept them in the propagator too long. There's some, there's some that are far too big, but we can sort that out later. Um, you know, it's a problem which we can overcome. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep looking at the blog. I'll try and make a video blog every few months. The scouts are up in January. The scouts are up in February. Uh, so we'll get we'll get a bit of them when they're up. We'll get show you what they're doing.